Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another weekly grocery haul. If you're new here, hello and welcome. I am Taylor. I'm a stay-at-home mom of two. This week's grocery haul is a collab with my friend Karina over at Life's Little Things. If you watch my What's for Dinners, you may remember that I collabed with her on a What's for Dinner a couple weeks back, but this week we are collabing on a grocery haul. As I said before, her content is really similar to mine. We both do grocery hauls, we both do What's for Dinners, as well as other things. So please make sure you click the link down below and head over to her channel and check her out. I'm going to go ahead and get into this Aldi haul for the week. I'm going to show you guys the meal plan first. Okay, here is the meal plan for the week. It is going from Friday, January 29th into February 4th. So we've got pizza and salad. Sloppy Joe's with tater tots, and I was going to do air fryer corn, but not doing that. We're probably just going to have, like, a can of corn. Then for the 31st, we have spaghetti. Then we're going to try this recipe for three-packet chicken and gravy with mashed potatoes and green beans. And then brats and a blanket, so, like, pigs in a blanket, but I have some brats that I bought on Markdown with mac and cheese. We're going to try shrimp and grits, and then one pot barbecue chicken pasta. Okay, here is everything that we got at Aldi this week. As I said, leave your guesses for the total down below. We'll start over here with the produce. I got some green onions. Lately, I've been really liking these in my omelets for breakfast in the morning. I got these cherry on the vine tomatoes, some beef steak tomatoes. I like to cut these up and put these in my omelet as well. Got some mini sweet peppers for the kids, avocados, I forgot to get some last week, and I really missed avocado toast this week. Got some mini cucumbers, some bananas, and some grapes, veggie straws, some brioche buns for sloppy joes, two gallons of milk. We just have not been going through it as much anymore, which is good. We're not drinking as much milk. So I got a loaf of bread, and then one of these Italian breads. Every time that they have markdowns on this, I always pick one up. They're great, and you can just pop it in the freezer and then pull it out when you want it. So that was like 99 cents after the dollar off. Got two things of eggs, orange juice, cold brew. Instead of stopping at Dunkin' today, I just picked up some cold brew. Got some more coffee creamer, vanilla caramel. I really like this one. I got a ranch seasoning packet, an Italian seasoning packet, and some chicken gravy. And that is for that three packet chicken and gravy. Got a pie crust, peanut butter cups, some milk chocolate. I got this stir and basil to try. And then these white cheddar cheese stuffed olives. I've really been liking olives lately and these sounded good. Some cherry pie filling. The kids picked out these mini muffins, the chocolate chip ones. Got some brownies, two cans of green beans, two jars of this marinara sauce. We really like that one. We got some bacon. Two things of crescent rolls, some sharp cheddar, some cream cheese. If you don't notice like a dessert theme, there's a dessert theme. Like all of this cherry topping, all of this is going to be in a dessert, like what's for dessert video at the end of Feb February. Got some more of this white cheddar. I've mentioned it like three weeks in a row now. This is my favorite cheese now. Got some of these little Canadian bacon slices, some regular pepperoni, mozzarella, some blueberry yogurt. I don't usually like their yogurt like this, but Carla McKenzie shared a recipe for a smoothie and it used some blueberry yogurt. So I got three of them because I think we're really going to like the smoothie and then I can make it three times. So I got three of them for that. Got whipped topping for a dessert. And then I needed frozen blueberries for that smoothie as well, so I got a bag of that. And a bag of frozen strawberries. I got some tater tots, which I'm going to have to make in the oven. Because last night, while cooking dinner, or not while cooking dinner, while cooking lunch yesterday, the air fryer just died. It has no power, the outlet and everything works, but I have no power. So, I'm going to work on getting another one. I'm, I contacted them to see what they say so we will see got some shrimp kids picked out mint chocolate chip ice cream got some dishwasher soap some sandwich bags and then some reusable bags um 
yes, I still use the disposable ones um, just because like if Andy takes it to work, likely if he takes this, I don't, I don't know if it would come back. Um, we're working on it, but you know, every little bit helps. So I got these because we can at least use them at home and stuff and it helps us not use as many of these. We got some cola for Andy and then this Christmas tree storage bag was half price. I had looked at it before, thought about getting it, passed on it a couple times. It was $25 and I was just like, eh, I'll just use the box. But when I saw it today for half off, I was like, I'm taking it. So maybe eventually we'll take down our Christmas tree now because it is definitely still up. But that is everything that we got at Aldi. Here is my receipt. I spent $115.07 today. And that is going to be it for the haul this week. Don't forget, as I said at the beginning, this was a collab with Karina and her link will be down below. And make sure you guys are scanning your receipts for Fetch Rewards. If you don't know, I always have a link down below for Fetch. You can sign up, get some bonus points and help me get some bonus points. And then all you have to do is like take a picture of your receipt every time you go shopping. It doesn't have to be a grocery store. It can be like pretty much any store and they give you points for what you buy and you can cash out those points for gift cards it's really awesome and i love it so make sure you check it out down below as always thank you guys so much for watching and i will see y'all in the next one bye